And it was a 3-0 victory against Oldham Athletic here last season at the same stage of the season and uh, the same result today. What were your thoughts on the match? Well, I have to be honest, uh, without any disrespect to David Unsworth or, or Oldham, I thought it could have been a lot more. I thought uh, we had a goal chalked off early doors, which I don't think was offside. Um, Cheeky's, uh, well, in fairness, the keepers made a good save from Cheeky's penalty. Um, and we just looked a threat all the time. Um, we looked good. I'm really happy with the way we've, you know, in a, in a nicest sense, dis completely dismantled uh, old. And that's now seven games unbeaten and four wins on the spin, which must please you. And the clean sheet. <coughs> that's the little. important bit. I mean, right at the end, I was just hoping we'd get the clean sheet because, you know, that that is like the cherry on the top. It's so important you get these clean sheets, not for goal difference, right? just for that mindset of really making sure you can grind out and keep that clean sheet every time. And as you saw at the end, 3-0 and there's players still chucking themselves in front of the ball to get the block uh, to preserve the clean sheet. So really chuffed, uh, really chuffed with the performance, really chuffed with how the lads have gone about it. Um, and the work levels, you know, and the, the, you know, the work rate and the, and the, the sort of energy we've got in the team is exactly where I want us to be. And good to win by three goals for the second game in a row as well. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't hurt, does it? I mean, it's uh, we haven't had many days since I've been here where we've kind of relaxed for the last five minutes. Um, but look, it's only a good result if we can go to Dagenham now and get a result uh, on Tuesday. You know? and, and, <clears throat> and that's what I want to keep getting our mindset into. If you're going to be successful, you have to keep churning out the results. Uh, and at the moment, you know, we've got a group of, a squad of players, not just uh, the, the 11, and not just the subs. We've got players on loan that are chomping on a bit to get in the team. Um, and that's obviously up in the uh, up in the uh, ante with the boys that are playing. So uh, you know we've all got to make sure we keep pushing each other. And uh, we might be well, I won't be surprised, but the players might be surprised when it gets them. Two of your new signings in amongst the goals today in the form of Josh Pasley and Sam Woods, who has two and two now. Yeah, I mean Sam Woods. What can you say? I mean, you know, he just goes about his business. He's one of those players that's just low maintenance. Uh, does his job doesn't do anything really eccentric or, or or sort of like, you know, outlandish, but he, he just goes about his job and he's effective. Um, the goal was great, but I tell you what, he made some really good last ditch tackles today as well, I felt, um, so he was good. Uh, Josh Pasley, look, I've worked with Josh many years ago, and again, there was a lot of raised eyebrows when uh, Harry left. I knew what I wanted from my wing backs, and Josh has come in, he's, you know, he's been brilliant. Um, he, he does what he says on the tin, gets down the line, puts the ball in the box, gets down the line, puts the ball in the box. Uh, and if someone's not going to give him the line, he'll come inside and link up. And that's what we need. Well, we spoke to Corey Whiteley after the game and he said the intensity in training has been part of the reason that, that he's so fit. What would you comment on that? It's exactly right. I mean, look, I, I've been fortunate enough to be around some top coaches, some top managers. Um, and I've, you know, I, and I've picked brains and I've seen and watched you have to train like you know you have to train and play the same you have to you can't just switch it on and off like a tap and we train at intensity and 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 i've seen you know the new guys coming in there thinking i've heard them say do you train like this all the time yeah that's what we do because we are the fittest team in the league we are going to be the strongest team in the league we are going to have more energy than anyone else in this league and you know what you need all of that just to just to get near the top of the table um, and we've got to keep pushing and pushing, and that's what we'll keep doing. Um, intensity is massive. You, you know, you, you saw us today. We, we had energy, intensity, and quality in all, all areas. And talking cool. about that uh, determination coming on straight from the bench, Jude Arthur's chases a lost cause, and a result <coughs> another goal for Corey Whiteley. Yeah, I mean, look, Jude would find himself and feel a little bit unlucky he's not in the team. You know, Lewis Lee, he'll be looking, thinking, why have I come here? You know, and. Uh, same for Alex Kirk, same for, you know, um, Kido. Look, guys, you come here and you raise the level of our group. They, they know they've got to stay in the team. And when your time comes, and it will come, you then got to get in the shirt and keep the team, you know, keeping the team. So, so you know, that's good. We need that. Um, and everyone is on it every day in training. And I won't let them come off it. And look, I must probably put a special mention to my staff today. You know, Alan Dunn and, and Brannon and, and Steve. Been brilliant you know they've had to step in for me for various reasons uh, as we know um, and uh, that just goes to show the strength and depth in the squad and then the strength and depth as, as a staff 
You talked about the Dagenham game on Tuesday. It's a tough place to go, as we know, and, and they're a side that also improved their form of late. And uh, not really a local derby, but a reasonably local game for the fans to get to and back the boys. Yeah, look, it's uh, Dagenham's... I, I, I don't think form matters when you play Dagenham. I think it's always going to be a tough game. It's always a tough place to go. Um, but we've got to keep taking care of our business. We've got to keep doing the right things. Don't get bored of doing the right things. Um, keep our levels of consistency and our discipline on the pitch uh, and, and just keep probing and working and probing and working. And um, we're looking forward to the Dagenham game. Yeah, let's, let's, let's bring that game on. We're really looking forward to it. Well, Andy, we'll catch up with you after that one. Thanks for your time. Thank you.